Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today we have another franchise video, part of our Giants franchise, and this is episode 5. And I really want to make some big moves here. You guys saw last episode, we won against the Mets. Uh, we had a pretty good game with Cargo. It was a lot of fun. Make sure you guys go check that out if you haven't already. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to view the trading block. Now, most of these guys on the trading block are pretty bad. And I really don't want any of these guys. Uh, but here are some ideas for you guys to leave in the comments, for sure. Um, John Lackey's not that bad. Uh, but I really want young guys who don't cost so much and are really good potentials. So those are just some guys on the trading block I thought I'd give to you. Now let's go to the make trade option. So I've told you guys this before. I really want, well, my main positions that I want are a new center fielder, a new left fielder, a new third baseman, a new first baseman, and a new closing pitcher. So, I've been checking out the league a little bit, and I have gone back to the Rockies. Look at Nolan, Nolan I get Noah Syndergaard and Nolan Arenado mixed up all the time. Nolan Arenado, a 24-year-old, a potential 88 overall. Then if you go over to us, we have Matt Duffy, 25, B potential, 80 overall. I really want Nolan Arenado. Also, I'm thinking about... I went to go to the Rockies. Uh, one of you guys left a comment about... Where is he? Charlie Blackman, that is also a good pickup. 29 years old, beat potential, 79 overall. Uh, AJ Pollock for center field, another good potential uh, if I could not get uh, Charlie Blackman. Andrew McCutcheon's always an option, obviously, because, you know, he's the best. Mike Trout, obviously an option. Uh, even Carlos Gonzalez, but he's hurt. Um, so, yeah. These, and Lorenzo Cain. That actually be a really good guy to get. Um, so I'm not going to actually make any trades in this video. Just because I really I want this video down below to be who should I trade away? Who should I get? And uh, who I should be trading away for those players. So in the past, I've asked you to do this. But I am totally stumped. I have no idea who I really want on the team. I, I really do want to trade Madison Bumgarner though, if I can get a better if I can get a better pitcher. Or help out my pitching rotation in general. But um just let me know guys. I can't get every player, obviously, but I really want your help and I'm glad that you guys have been interactive with this series and have been helping me through the way uh, of getting some great players. So, if you guys could help me out, once again, in the comments, leave who you guys want to get. Um, I gave you, you know, my opinion on a couple players, and uh, I think, there, I want him, uh, Zach Britton. But, I think that this is a great series for us to interact with, and uh, hopefully you guys will take into account my consideration of the players I want. But, uh, obviously, I do want this to be about you guys as well, so... Um, yeah, let me know, and I think I'm going to start doing that, is letting you guys decide my players, even if I don't like them, there's a message just popping up, uh, even if you got, if I don't like them necessarily, I think I should get them, just because I want this to be a channel and a series about you guys, so we are going to jump into a game, we are going to sim through this date, see how we are doing with our pitching and, you know, our players, we really need to make a push for that playoff spot in first place, even though it's only May. I don't want to be in second place. We are 23 and 17, six games above 500. We are three and a half games back, so not bad at all. Uh, we got a couple injuries, nothing big because those are all double A and triple A. Um, let's see transactions. Anybody big? Red Sox have made a beef up in their roster. Doesn't really matter. Oh, Greg Holland has been scooped up by the Athletics. That makes sense. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like there's been too many trades there um and let's take a look at the team tim lincecum's getting hot look at that oh uh, i don't really care about any of this 
honestly. <laughs> I don't know why I looked at it, but um, nothing really important. So let's take a look at how our players are been do are been doing, have been doing. Pitching rotation. Madison Bumgarner getting hot. He did win one. He lost one. ERA still above four, but he's getting hot at the right time. Let's see how he works out. Uh, he actually went up two overall as well. Johnny Cueto, I believe, went up two overall. He did lose two games, but his ERA point six eight. That's great. Uh, Jeff Samarja, holy cow, five and one record. That's why we're winning games, people. A two point three five year rate, a little bit high compared to like Johnny Cueto, but that's still super good. Tim Lincecum, 4-0, 2.74, and Matt Cain. Look at that, 2.86, great job. And then my relievers are 2-0 there, 1-1 one one to Lopez, 3-2. Tony Watson hasn't won a game, and those guys haven't really mattered. Our closer, here you go, guys. Want to look for a new closer, 1-4 record, 7.62 ERA. I don't want him on my team anymore. Get him off. Um, so let's see how the lineup's looking. Nobody's really hot. Uh, 289, 263, 279, 286. Yeah, go cargo. Uh, Matt Duffy. Man, I really want to get rid of him for somebody better, but he's doing pretty good. We are going to move him up in the lineup. Let's move him up here, actually. Um, wow, I have a ton of lefties on the team. 263, 278, 327. And I wanted him off the team. Let's bat him fifth, because cargo can stay sixth. Uh... 254, 279. So not bad at all for my players. That is pretty great. We are going to jump into a game here with Johnny Cueto and the San Diego Padres. Let's see what can happen. Hopefully we can get the win. I don't know why we're away every single time. Let's go with the throwback unis though. Why not? Um, so that is going to be the episode. If you guys want to stick around for the game, uh, please do. Otherwise... I hope you guys have been enjoying the series and leave your comments down below of who you want to, you know, have me trade, trade for, trade away, that kind of thing. I really want to make this channel about you guys, as I said. So, let's get into the game and see how we do. This is a rivalry matchup and it looks like we might be going up against James Shields. We are still player locking as Cargo. We want to give him another chance. Oh, Colin Rea. I don't know why I said James Shields. But, um... His record is a 3 and 2 and a 4.0 ERA. That's pretty good for us. We really need to get a win here. Uh, this is a rivalry matchup, as I said. And uh, we are three games out of first place. So that means the Dodgers lost. We could be 2.5, I think, if I did the math correctly. So we got Cargo up here. And we are looking to hit a home run right away. We are going to guess the pitch up. Not going to happen. Oh, nasty curveball. Uh, it is a 1-1 count, top of the first inning with two outs. So let's see, Cargo here. Oh, nasty splitter too. He hasn't thrown me a good strike yet. he got to throw me a fastball at some point, I, I'd assume. 1-2 count, and oh, that's deep. I don't know why I keep pressing that button at the wall. And we get to lead off this inning. There we go, top of the sixth. He threw the fastball over the middle, and Cargo killed it! Woo! Cargo was on that, baby! It's a tie game! Wow! That thing went a long way, and he threw that fastball down the middle, touches third, goes around the bases. That is amazing. Let's see the replay quickly. Just right over the top Middle part of the plate, and goodbye baseball. I thought that was a pop fly off the bat, but yes, tied the game up. Hey, we're going to get the win. We actually win 4-2, to two, so are we two and a half games back now of the Dodgers? I think we are, but that is another W, baby, and Calcia, Casilla got his second win. So that's, that's what I like to see from the team. Uh, we will... Be back on here soon. We are 2.5 games back. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Like I said, I'm going to wrap this thing up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys do leave your trades as well uh, and your comments to help me out. Like I said in uh, 
in the earlier part of the video. But yeah, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching, and thanks for all the new supporters, guys. It means a lot to me. Um, yeah, thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow for more.